Hello, everybody. Uh, yesterday, I was doing, I was watching a video. Somebody was saying something about the day of the Lord. And I said, I'm going to look that up. Exactly what is, what do they mean by the day of the Lord, based on what all else they were saying. So, and then I forgot about it, right? <laughs> this is how the Lord is, you know. Us poor folk that don't have a good memory and don't write stuff down because we forget. It's crazy, but the Lord will bring you around if you ask him to. All right, so today I decided before I look your videos, email, whatever I'm going to do, I'm get, trying to get in this habit, get up from my nap, get my coffee, and get into the Word. Okay, so I prefer the computer because... If I can use the Strong's Concordance on something I have a question on, I've got it right here. All right. Although I do really enjoy reading in the paper book. Okay. Um, I just, you know, when I have a question like, what, is, what does that mean in Strong's? Okay. Well, this is just a little warning that Mr. Strong's was just a man. And here is an error I found to point that out. To just let you know, don't hold the Strong's Concordance in the same level as the Word of God. Okay? Because a man put it all together. I'm sure he had help with other men. And people make mistakes. Alright. So the scripture I'm reading is, boy the sun... Let me see if I can. It's that time of day when the sun comes through here really bright. Okay. Thank God it's bright. I was saying the other day, Lord, please give us a nice day. And we've had two in a row. Praise God. Okay. So I am in Second Timothy. I just randomly kind of do like this in the quick nav and click. And it was Second Timothy 1. Alright, so here's what I'm reading in verse one, chapter 1, verse 18. The Lord grant to him, here I'll back up so you'll know who I'm talking about. Verse 16. The Lord grant mercy to the house of Onesiphorus, for he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. But when he was in Rome... He eagerly searched for me and found me. The Lord grant to him to find mercy from the Lord on that day. And you know very well what services he rendered at Ephesus. Alright, so I'm going, okay, does he mean on the day of the Lord? On the day we're raptured? Which rapture? See, Paul just never seems to refer to two raptures. I think Paul is basically teaching on the second rapture, which is probably why so many don't believe in the first rapture. Okay, well, I said on that day. Okay, I'm going to look that up and see if that's what he means. Okay, so... I clicked on tools, went down to the word day. Okay, where are you? Here, it's 2250, G2250. Because see, I was kind of hoping it would be a whole phrase on that day, like it frequently is, a whole phrase. Okay, well it wasn't, it was just the word day. Which is a feminine noun, by the way. Okay, so... When you come down to all the possible meanings, the very... Um, well, not the very bottom, but it's there's 1A, B, 2A, which is him explaining... Why it's possible for Jesus to die on Friday, rise on Sunday, and still be in the ground for three days and three nights. It says the Eastern usage of this term 
differs from our Western usage, any part of a day is counted as a whole day, hence the expression three days and three nights does not mean literally three whole days, but at least one whole day plus part of two other days. Didn't their days begin at like 6 a.m.? Okay, when them ladies went to the tomb, Jesus was already rose from the dead at sunrise. He was already up, out of there. Anyway, this is not about that. To me, that's another error, though, for him to say that, or whoever put that addition, that section in here. Now, three, section three. Of the last day of this present age, the day Christ will return from heaven, raise the dead, hold the final judgment, and perfect his kingdom. Now, do you see what's wrong with that statement? Of the last day of this present age, which means end of the 6,000 years, or the 2,000 years approximately, that we call the church age, Christ will return from heaven, raise the dead, hold the final judgment, and perfect his kingdom. Now we know there are two resurrections and two judgments. One is before the thousand-year millennial reign, and one is after. So that is clearly a misstatement and meant to confuse whether he intended it or not. You understand, I'm only pointing this out so that nobody holds the strong concordance up too highly okay it's a tool like a dictionary but realize that it was put together by men and given Strong's name he probably headed up the project but it's not perfect and I know this is not a fantabulous wonderful exciting oh my stars kind of a video but it's kind of important so you know where you realize your sources of Bible study outside of the Word of God, unless you're hearing from the Lord what something means, could be flawed. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, you might want to share this with anybody you know who holds the strong concordance up as high as the Word of God. Alrighty, okay, I'll talk to you later.